Welcome back, all of you horror freaks out there. I am your host, The Strange Monkey, and today we're going to be talking about 2019's Ready or Not. So, without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. Ready or Not is directed by Matt Ulpin and Tyler Gillett, and it stars Samantha Weaving and Adam Brody. Grace couldn't be happier after she marries the man of her dreams at his family's luxurious estate. There's just one catch. She must now hide from midnight until dawn while her new in-laws hunt her with guns, crossbows, and other weapons. So the film is about Grace. She's getting married to her fiancé, Daniel, and he is part of the wealthy Domas family. But what he fails to mention is that they host a generation, generation's long tradition of playing a game on a wedding night with the newest members of the family. And she ends up picking the game of hide and seek. Now he doesn't tell her that the great grandfather made a deal with a benefactor and the family must deliver a sacrifice before dawn to save their lives. So as they're playing hide and seek, Grace discovers this when one of the maids are shot during this. The family is hunting her down. She has to survive until dawn and then it's over. It's a game of cat and mouse during this bizarre film, and I really liked it. There's a lot of action, there's a lot of horror, you know, there's a lot of tension in this film, and, and I must say, it was really enjoyable. Samantha Weaving gave an incredible performance, Adam Brody also gave an incredible performance. I was a little concerned when I saw the trailer. I get worried when Hollywood makes films based on board games, urban legends, children's games, and they screw it up badly. Remember Battleship, La Llorona, Ouija, Boogeyman, things like that. One of the few films that, were, that was actually good is Clue. That is a masterpiece. You don't mess with that. The score was beautiful. You would think that this is for a drama film, or something, and it's, nope, you know, the, I love the set, the cinematography, it just looked like a completely different film, it doesn't look like it would be a horror movie once it starts, and then boom, they flipped it on you, you feel like you're in this movie, you feel like you're running around with Grace trying to hide, and you want to help her, but it's a little difficult to do that when you have psychos running around the entire mansion trying to kill you, now let's hear what the international superstar Moby Lee has to say. What up? It's your boy, the International Superstar Moby Lee, but you already know that. Listen, everyone watching Strange Monkey Shout, you want to know what I think about that movie, Ready or Not? Here I come. You can't hide. I'm playing. That's the song, not the movie. Anyway, I thought when I, I looked at the trailer, I, I commented, I'm not going to lie. I was like, yo, they showed the whole, uh, the whole movie in this trailer, but they didn't because they showed so much more than what they showed in the trailer. And it was kind of a misdirection because the tone of the movie was different than the tone of the trailer. So I liked that. It was a lot more comedy than I thought because I didn't think it'd be any comedy at all. But it wasn't bad. It didn't mess up the movie. Like it was, it was comical at first, a lot of comedy stuff. But once the first person died, it started to get serious. And the stone started to drop. And then it's like, all right, this is for real. Uh, th this is really happening. So I, I, I think it's great. I think if you're thinking about watching it and you don't know yet, you should definitely watch it after you thumbs up this video, subscribe to The Strange Monkey, and leave a comment about how awesome the international superstar mobile is. As long as you don't subscribe to me, make sure you don't do that. But like I said, I personally, me, this guy right here, I give it a thumbs up. Just make sure when you are playing hide and seek, you're playing with people who are reliable and don't do drugs. But overall, I thought Ready or Not was really good, and I must say, Ready or Not was shamelessly entertaining. Check it out. It's in theaters now. Please, check it out. Be sure to subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff, and have yourselves a good fright. <laughs>